Now, May is the month, of course, that honors our fallen veterans. And listen to this. More of them have died by suicide than in combat since 9-11. It's really incredible. So we're talking 16 a day, according to the Department of Veterans Affairs. But there are programs right here in Philadelphia that can prevent veterans mm -hmm. from taking their own lives. In fact, Navy veteran Jimmy White, he wants you to know his journey so that you know you are not alone. Jimmy White was pretty young when he knew he was destined for the Navy. It really clicked when um, I dropped out of college for the second time. <laughs> The Navy gave him the discipline and the skills to become a nuclear electrician on the USS submarine Montpelier. 2003, my submarine was actually part of shock and awe. We shot 20 Tomahawk missiles in support of the ground troops. And I remember the sense of pride on the submarine when the first Tomahawk went off. But after six years, his wife got pregnant with their little boy and third class petty officer Jimmy White decided to leave. He could not anticipate the flood of emotions that came with leaving the Navy. I can tell you that I became lost after my transition when I lost this sense of mission and of purpose. That first year after separation from military service is the most risky for veterans. The University of Pennsylvania's Cohen Clinic for Military Veterans offers free help for vets and their families. Dr. Leah Blaine says that first year of care could truly save lives. The majority of post 9-11 veterans know someone who has died by suicide, and many also have seen brothers and sisters die in combat. So there has been a lot of grief and loss that people are working through and other trauma. But this is the part that Jimmy wants you to know the most. There is help after transition. I'll tell you what, um, myself, just recently in the last three months, I went to the Cohen Clinic. I found myself, especially with the pandemic, that I needed additional emotional um, and mental support. Jimmy says the need for help continues and the accomplishments continue as well. He's now the head of engineering at the Four Seasons Philadelphia, running a team of 12. And last year, he became a George Bush fellow for the work that he's done locally. Through the Travis Mannion Foundation, he started volunteering in his old neighborhood of South Philly. And when I found out that that they were going to schools, teaching kids about character and leadership, and still be with my veteran community. I found my tribe, and ever since then, I also found my purpose. In his words, it doesn't have to be the end. Mm -hmm. So we have links to these veteran suicide prevention resources that help Jimmy on our website. You're also going to see my interview with NBC News reporter Melissa Chan. We talked to her about how many young Navy sailors are deserting the Navy amid these suicide concerns. So she actually spoke one-on-one -on -one with one suicide survivor from the USS Washington. Just tap the free NBC10 app. The power of admitting you need help, too, is a wonderful thing. Be that humble, exactly. Yeah, what a role yeah. model.